Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna unbox a Poshmark mystery makeup box. So you guys wanna see what I got in here, what my thoughts are, well then definitely keep on watching. All right, so in case anybody's wondering what I'm wearing on my face today, I actually just followed Jaclyn Hill's latest tutorial on how to do like a foxy cat eye look. I skipped a step on the liner because I'm not very good at liner, but I actually did use liner on my eye today. I just don't know how visible it is, but I actually took her black smoky shadow in her volume two palette and I actually did like a little press on like stamping on liner. So I do have it up there. It just kind of makes my lashes look fuller. So it is there and I find that technique to be so easy, but trying to wing it out. <laughs> different story. But if you guys haven't seen her tutorial, I will link it down below so you guys can watch it. You guys can see how I got this look. I pretty much used a lot of the same products that she did, at least on the eyes, like exact same products and steps. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a Poshmark mystery makeup box. Now this is sent to me by a wonderful subscriber named Samantha. Now before I get into this, I do want to put a quick disclaimer out here for you guys. I recently just did a mystery unboxing from a brand called Private Society Cosmetics. And in that video, a subscriber has sent me that mystery box and a few people felt that I was a particular way, whether I was bratty or ungrateful or just snooty, whatever they wanted to call me because I gave an honest review. Now, me reviewing those products was not a reflection on that subscriber whatsoever and I was so grateful for it, but I was still gonna be honest about the products. Like, that's what I pride here about my channel is I'm always gonna be honest, whether it's sent in PR or I buy it or friends give it to me or you guys give it to me, I wanna be honest. It's never a reflection of you or the brand, it's a reflection of the product and some products don't work and I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh my God, it's so amazing, cause that's just not me. So I went ahead and I contacted the person who sent me this box and I let them know I was very nervous to film this video because if there's things in here that I don't like, I don't wanna hide the fact that I don't like it or if there's things I would change. And they said, no, they want a full honest review. They wanna know what's good, what's bad because it's gonna help them grow and change as a business and that's what I want for them as well. And Carl, when I did her mystery box, she was so sweet. She goes, girl, you did exactly what I asked you to. You asked for an honest review. So if you guys ever send me anything, just know that I always talk to the subscriber first and say, hey, I'm gonna be honest. This is what I like and didn't like and they always tell me to go ahead, be honest, give your honest review because that's why I follow you. So if there's things in here I don't like, I do apologize now, but I'm gonna be honest. And if that's not okay with you guys, if you guys want me to sit here and praise every single thing I get, then this might not be the channel for you and that's completely okay. There's there's so many other amazing channels out there for sure, but I'm never gonna change who I am just because I got sent a product for free to review because in the day, that's what they want me to do. They want me to review it for you, so I'm gonna be honest. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. And with that said, I'm definitely nervous that I've been to this because I don't wanna get any more hate for being honest, but we're just gonna go for it. It's actually really, really heavy, so I'm curious to see what we got in here. I've never heard of a mystery box from uh, Poshmark, like a makeup box. That's actually really, really cool. Ooh, we got some really wonderful, fun, fetty stuff in here. Those are always fun to play with. Oh my God, and it's individually wrapped. Oh my God, that's so cool. I like, look how personalized it is. That's so sweet. Okay, so I went ahead and I just removed everything from the box because going to the little fun Betty stuff can actually take a while. But I wanna point out that this box, first off, has some really cute details on the inside. There's cute little fun festive stickers. Well, not stickers, but just like printouts that she put in the box. So I think it's so cute. I definitely think that it's a personal touch and I feel like she put more effort into the box. And so it just makes you feel like, oh, like you curated this for me. And that's really cool. I like that. So that's a really good starting off factor. Oh, she put a cute little handwritten note in here. Well, not handwritten, it's typed. It Listen, I have really bad handwriting too. Anybody who ever writes me letters, I always write you back and I always say I'm so sorry for my childlike handwriting. Like you think I'd have nice handwriting, but nope, I do not. <laughs> But she says, first and foremost, thank you for taking the time to give me your honest opinion on my mystery box. Please let me know your thoughts on the packaging and product range, which I will. I absolutely love makeup and have a serious problem buying it. Mm -hmm. I end up purchasing so much but never get around to using it. Plus, I'm a sucker for mystery boxes and I try to make them what I would want. It always makes my day unboxing mystery boxes and I hope to be able to make someone else's day with these. If there are products you don't think you'll use, please put them in your No Waste Wednesday Pass Along. Okay, that's awesome. The rest of the letter is actually really sweet and personal, so I'm going to just keep that to myself, but Samantha, my heart is with you. 
but about her mystery boxes so she does sell them on Poshmark and I'll put her little handle right here as well as link her page down below they range in sizes and prices there's makeup skincare are both inside and she always throws in a free gift that's not included in the total retail value of the box so she said that my box has a value of $115.99 plus she would list it at $50 and she does offer sales usually once a month so it's actually really really good to know so she did also put in something extra in here she said open last so like that's what we're gonna do we're gonna open that one last but this is exciting okay so i really like that she took the time to individually wrap each product i think that puts a like, personal touch to each i think that's so cool so the first thing i'm gonna open is this one here this is the free gift i love that she labeled it that's so cool this is so exciting oh it's a little makeup bag that is so cool but the makeup bag has goodies inside all right, so what do we have? Oh, oh my God, they're, individual. <laughs> they're individually wrapped in here as well. That's that's awesome. All right, so the first item that we're seeing is, oh my God, it's from Ofer Cosmetics. What? This is Rodeo Drive Highlighter. This is such a beautiful highlighter. I actually don't own this one. I own the Glazed Donut from Nikki Tutorials. That's the only Ofer highlighter that I have. So I'm so excited to give this bad boy a try. I've heard nothing but good things from Rodeo Drive. So that is an awesome free gift what that's so cool and then we also have an oprah hand sanitizer this will definitely go a long way for sure Ooh, then we have a little hula benefit mini right here that is so cute i think that's awesome what are these free gifts these are like name brand free gifts what shut up oh my god and then we have a little jeffree star this is in the shade mannequin right here how what this is a free gift are you joking me this is insane that is so cool then we have a vanilla lip balm from wish okay i've never heard of this brand before or wish 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 and then the last one in here is uh oh my god this used to be my favorite mascara i used to be obsessed with it cosmetics superhero mascara i literally used it for years and then unfortunately i switched over to thrive cosmetics and benefit but i still love this i would still wear this all the time i just don't have the full size anymore so the fact that it's in here like did you watch my old videos <laughs> that is so freaking cool the fact that these are all in like the little mini gift free gifts what that is insane. That is so cool. This, this is awesome. Oh my God. Now I'm excited for everything else. All right. So I'm going to let my eyes, my hands do the picking. So we're going to go for this bad boy right here. This is It Cosmetics by by Pores Pressed Poreless Finish Airbrush Press Powder. What? Are you serious? It's in the shade translucent. This is literally a full size product. Now it does seem to be covered in powder which you know what that does happen and now it did shatter coming over here now that is okay things do happen in the transferring world but i know there's ways that you can definitely salvage this so i'm gonna go ahead and like i think you gotta get like some water or some alcohol and you could actually press everything back together so that's what i'm gonna do i do think it's awesome it's a, it is unfortunate that it did shatter, but you know what? I know that's not her fault at all. It just, it happens in delivery processes. I've had so many makeup stuff sent to me and things have came shattered. Like I just got my BoxyCharm pop-up stuff from the shop. They sent me a cool little like PR kit and that box is destroyed. Like, I don't know how the products look inside because I haven't looked at the products, but the actual like boxes that they're in oh my god the mailman looked like he just stepped on everything and was like fuck you ellie and that's what it looked like so <laughs> i think it's just really cool i'll definitely find ways to salvage this but that is such a really sweet gift especially since i really have large pores this could be really beneficial so all right the next one is this little bad boy right here oh this looks like a morphe product blushing babes pops of pea from morphe so this is freaking cool Ooh, i actually don't own any morphe blushes oh these are really cute shades really cute shades i feel like they might be a little bit too peachy for me maybe but i definitely feel like i should try it out before i just say you know i'm just gonna get rid of it i'm just very much like i love really light blush i'm not too harsh 
on the blush. I don't, I don't know, it's just not my thing, but this is like her peachy tone, which is something that I can definitely go for. Alrighty, the next one is this little bad boy right here. Oh, this is from Laura Lee Cosmetics. This is her party animal palette. I actually received this in a BoxyCharm a while back and it definitely is a really pretty palette for sure but I um I don't know I'm not a fan of the color scheme so I did we sell this actually on Poshmark so I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my no waste Wednesday because I know I'm never gonna get a use out of this palette so I think that's really cool that she's actually putting like nice high-end products in here that's awesome Ooh, I see we got some lashes these are from Colourpop okay these are the falsies this is in the style honey I am always, always, always down for more lashes because I go through them like crazy, but these are absolutely stunning. So I'm definitely gonna give these a try. These are beautiful, beautiful, excellent. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, this is from Precision Forma. This is the bronzer palette. You trying to tell me any new bronzer? <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Oh my God. Physician Formula always has like the best smelling products. That is so freaking cool. I have not tried any of their bronzers like this. So I'm definitely gonna give this product a try. Maybe I might fall in love with a new bronzer. Even though I've been using my Mac Give Me Sun for forever. And I've been trying out the Fenty, um, Fenty one right here. This is in the style Biscuit. Uh, my wonderful, wonderful subscriber, Megan, sent this my way. I've been trying it out, trying to get a feel of cream bronzers, but this is cool. That is so cool. I like it. I like the range of products. All right, the next product is this bad boy right here. Mermaids forever what this is a really cool palette i've actually seen this at ulta and i was definitely considering getting this right here so i may or may not play with it i haven't decided fully i i have so many eyeshadow palettes now that i might play with this if not it will be added to my new waist wednesday but that is such a really cool little gift that she added in here she's given like a full range of makeup products that's awesome. That's how I want mystery boxes to be like a full range because sometimes you get mystery boxes that are legit just stuck on like five lipsticks, three liners, and then one eyeshadow palette. You're like, but wait, what about the rest of the face? So the fact that she's including a whole range, that's really cool. All right, next one. I'm struggling to get this one open. Oh my gosh. The next one is from Too Faced. This is the Melted Matte Liquid Lip in the style Queen Bee. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just add this to my No Waste Wednesday. It's just when it comes to Too Faced and their Melted Liquid Lips. I am not a fan of them. That and the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint, for me, they're so drying. Like, they're really drying that I feel like I'm, like, trying to find, like, water in the Sahara Desert for how drying they are. And this looks like it'd be too purpley for my taste in liquid lips. So I think it's awesome that she added a full size in here because I'm going to go ahead and add this to my No Waste Wednesday. But I'm so excited for somebody out there to get a try of this because if you do really like matte liquid lips, like, really mattified liquid lips, this is definitely a way to go. I'm just not, I'm a gloss bitch. I'm a gloss bitch. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my No Waste Wednesday. All right, and last but not least, where'd it go? Oh, okay, that's so cool. Okay, so last but not least, what she did is that she added in the price point for every single item that you got so you could see what you actually paid for. So she would have valued my box at over $115.99 and she would have charged me 50 bucks for that, but you get awesome products not even including that you got a whole goodie bag full of extras i think that is so freaking cool i love this idea i wonder if i should do this i feel like i feel like i could do this maybe not sell it on poshmark but i feel like maybe one day i'm just going to curate a mystery box and just send it to a random subscriber to be like hey surprise you know like maybe like if i hit 30,000 subscribers i'll do it for my 30,000 subscribers create a little mystery box for you guys so what are my thoughts on this box. First off, I really think it's such a cool idea to sell mystery makeup boxes on Poshmark. I think that's so freaking cool. I think you putting a, such a personal touch into there and putting in products that you think the person may or may not like, like you're definitely taking a gamble, but I think it's cool that like you take the time to create something. She literally individually wrapped every single product, which definitely takes a lot of time. She put stickers on each one. She hand wrote a real, well, she typed up a really wonderful letter. She made sure she put all the prices in here so you know exactly what it is you're paying for. Um, I love the fact that she added in an 
an extra goodie bag so you can sit here and get so many cool little goodies in here free of charge it's considered a free gift i think that's such a personal touch and i really really like that factor now everything came completely fine except for the it cosmetics pressed powder this did come completely shattered but again that's not her fault at all it just it happens it happens in transition between you know point a to point b and it's happened to me numerous times with palettes that i bought myself so i definitely can understand it happening so it's easy to fix with like some pressed oh it's easy to fix with some alcohol you can like press it back together but overall i know she wants to know what my thoughts are on the products and my thoughts are on the packaging i would definitely say the packaging was so amazing i think you really took the time to individually wrap and show some love you definitely packed it really really good with some bubble wrap with lots of little confetti and make sure everything was nice and cushioned so i do really like that factor i also love the fact that you put in a full range of makeup products in here like you really took the time to put in a whole face you pretty put you put a whole face in here i think that's awesome i think if i were to say to change anything I don't have anything for you to change. I really don't. I think this is such a really well thought of box. I think you really took the time to make sure that everything had a personal touch to it, that you put your own self into it. And I really, really appreciate that factor. I think it's really smart that you sell makeup that you know that you're not going to use or you have just sitting around. I think that's a great way to make some money. And I think it's really cool. And I think maybe my only suggestion to you, Samantha, if you're watching this would be if you know who you're gonna sell to, like if say like someone wants to buy a mystery box, maybe you can look at the person's profile and see what they may or may not like, and then try to curate a box for them. If you have the products, if you don't, that's by all means, like no, you don't have to do that. It's, just, it's a mystery box for a reason, but I really, really love this box. I think it's so freaking cool. There's quite a few things I'm actually gonna be keeping for myself. And there's a few things I'm adding to my No Waste Wednesday, but that's completely okay. I think it's so great that you're allowing me that opportunity. So thank you so much, Samantha. I really, like this box <laughs> i really i don't have anything negative to say i'm surprised i mean normally i have some sort of you could change this can change that but i i don't i i really really don't so thank you so much for this wonderful gift and for showing off your stuff so guys i will have everything on her poshmark channel linked down below so you guys can go check her out like i said that she will have ranges of boxes and prices and i'm sure that she will talk to you and curate a mystery box for you as well and Thank you so much, Amanda. This is actually really cool. All right, guys, and that is it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post every other day, every day, just depending. Also, you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful adventures with amazing fiance Corey here in Florida when we have stuff to do. <laughs> right now, we don't, although we do have some videos coming up very soon, so stay tuned and um yeah guys i seriously just want to thank you guys for all your love and support i really it really means a lot to me you guys want to send me these boxes to give you guys an honest review and i really appreciate that factor like seriously thank you so much for allowing me to be myself to be here for you guys especially during this time it's such a crazy hectic time and why well, couldn't get through this without you guys so i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye and I feel like the, and I feel like, I definitely think it's a personal touch on Poshmark, which I will link her. So about her mystery boxes. So, so I was able to save it for the most part. Me, good. I'm surprised that I haven't had any bloopers recently. I've been not fucking up. What? That's not, that's, I need to, I need to mess up reading. I need to do something to mess up because I need some bloopers for you guys.